Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to present you a reliable local solution to detect the amplitude of a rocket using a 3-axis magnetic sensor. As you can see, uh, this is the famous HMC 5883L magnetometer from Honeywell and an Arduino with that Mega 328. Um, but any microcontroller with I2C interface would do it because there's mm, not much processing power needed. Now I should uh, show you how this thing works. Uh, I'm gonna um, use this as a rocket body just to see uh, the orientation. Um, the idea is that the rocket trajectory is parabolic and at apogee the rocket is horizontal so we're going to use that what, what, what this does is um, it takes the natural magnetic field vector as an orientation reference and when the rocket reaches apogee you know it will tilt and it will point the nose down so we're going to detect this moment Okay. And here we go. We have the system attached. So this is our rocket. This is the this is the cone. So um, in this place, the magnetic field inclination is about 68 degrees. So we have a 68 degrees cone of safety inside this cone. Um, nothing should really happen. Uh, and yeah, look. So when we tip it down, the system detects that the rocket has uh, pointed, uh, uh, has changed orientation. And we will have a 68 degrees cone of safety. So inside this cone, while the rocket is inside this cone, like deployment is guaranteed. In the middle, there's an uncertainty. It can still detect, but if it's oriented like this, it will not detect. So you have to, has to be inside this cone to detect. Uh, but that should be no problem because any rocket will eventually reach a really small angle with the with the vertical axis. As you can see, it's it's quite fast. And it's really reliable. Uh, the way it works right now on ground, it, it should work exactly the same in air. And I can I can mathematically prove that. You can you can check the description uh, to um, for the link to my blog where I uh, present this problem in detail. In this video, I'm I'm only showing you uh, this prototype that it really works. So this is it. Um, I also have um, the code for this. You can check it out and build it yourself. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.